Here we are, level one, Tail Cave. Easiest dungeon I can do. I could try doing it in five minutes. Cause that is my all time record. And there we go. Today's my day. Or not. Probably you gotta knock this guy over. You get access to this chest. You got a small key. You can open a locked door. Unique. Then go to your right. We'll be going to the left in level 3. Because, yeah, you do come back in level 3. And it's optional. It's if you want to get the level 2 sword. You got a map. Press the start button to look at it. Then they lead you off to here. Ow! What's that for? Quickly move to the left before you get hit again. Okay, take that, loser. We get the chest and we get 20 rupees. I'll make sure not to touch it again. Now here's where you get the souvenir. Well, not souvenir, but it's a... Wait. Aha! Up we go. Do, 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 do. Wait and switch the sword. Put level one shield uh, away and have your B button empty until you get the chest open to get the rock's feather. It feels like your body's a lot lighter. And you'll be able to get that. And then this is. You're pretty much playing Mario once you get into that cave. Pretty much if you're in every cave, you get to play Mario. It's just like you po you're playing Super Mario. Oh, the classics. And after you get the rock's feather, move all your way to where I previously exited after getting the map. Once you get in here, open this chest and you get the Nightmare's Key. We got in. I'm gonna press that. Okay. There, press it and then press it. And because I did that, we got nothing. We get the stone beak. Oh, I got one minute to accomplish my goal. It looks like we got everything. Yeah, we got everything. Oh boy. I don't think I'm going to make it. Oh yeah. That's how the professionals play. And if you guys want to know how I beat it, here's how. Wait. Ow. I'll, I'll just do that for now. One time I was able to glitch this part by jumping the, all the way back. Okay, take take two. One. Oh, I almost had it. There, that's what I was trying to say. I was able to jump back. There. That's how he went. And I don't know 
why this is happening to me, but my legs usually shake when I have to defeat this boss. But after a good success, you get the full moon cello, and it took me 19 minutes to do the start of this game, the intro, all the way to here. One time I was able to do it in like 17 minutes. But hey, school's out for summer. Swamp path opens in the blue, so I'm going to high school. This is just the beginning. Ooh, that is an instrument in the science. I have to admit, at first I did not believe that you were real. That instrument, along with these seven others in the set, has the power to wake the windfish. You must collect them all. I was instructed to give you directions. Your next goal is in North and Gaponga Swamp. Hoot, indeed. And then we move all our way to Gaponga Swamp. But we get an important message from Bao, and we have to start the picture thing, which is completely optional. Hey, buddy, it's serious. Yeah, it really serious. Yeah, it is. The Moblins came to the village. Yeah, that's right. A whole bang of Moblins. Man, it's for real. They all went to the house. Yeah, that house. And they, then they did something about those house. It was a really bad scene with the m m Moblins. So, I mean, ah. It might be faster to find out for yourself what happened. Oh! My mind went off. We forgot to do the fishing game. Without further ado, we're going to do the fishing game now. How about some fishing, little buddy? I'll only charge you 10 rupees. Okay, here's how to do it. Use left and right on the directional pad. I'm using the circle pad to hang the cast. Once you hook up a fish, press the button rapidly to reel it in. And I'm going to adjust camera a little. There we go. Now, without further ado, let's go play fish. Sorry if you see this shaking, but as you can see, this is how you're supposed to do it. It's a run, I'll only give you a 5 rupee prize for that, you should try again. Okay, and you gotta, and he's gonna keep saying this over and over. As you can see, again, this is why my 3DS XL is shaking, it's because I'm doing this. Let's try again. Yes, I will. Okay, I understand that. Reel that back. And again, we have to do this over until the last fish. And one of them, one of these fishes, if you catch them in, you get 20 rupees. You get 20 rupees. And right there, that fish, if you catch that. This is on, this only happens one time. If you catch that fish, you get twenty you get twenty rupees and a piece of heart. That 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 little the heart piece in that fish is a one time thing. Yeah, that's a lunker, not a runt. Well. We've had our luck today, kids. Let's reel this back in. Without. And then. When, wait. Once you're able to get them close, reel them in. Oh, it's a big one. And it has a piece of heart, too. You get a 20 rupee prize on that. Top of that. Try again. And it'll say, if you try again, if you do it again, it says, this pond's all fished out. Why not try your luck in the sea? If you press OK, it says, did I say that? Forget it. OK? Run along now. And that will be the last time we ever go fishing. And we're about to enter the shop, which is going to be in two videos from now. I'm going to guess. I don't know. Oh, so a souvenir, but not for long. We will be entering the cave. I will be entering the cave soon. You can all guess who that voice is. Oh, yeah, that's Peter Griffin from Family Guy. Oh, here we go. Third heart piece before the next before the next full heart. 
Yeah, whoever cared. We didn't need that. We, that's only a one-time thing. So we're gonna get that piece of art now. Just move this thing. Kill the bat, optional. Jump here, then jump here. You'll get the piece of heart, and then after that, it'll say we have collected four pieces of heart, and, and it'll tell you that that you have a complete heart container. And apparently, this eventually, if you decided to go there, that actually leads to a trap. So don't go there. I just wanted to show you so you don't do it ever. That's bad luck for you all. So now we got the, all the four, four heart pieces. I'm gonna have to go all the way up. Yeah, that's right. And before going into that cave, we're not going in yet. We have to go get the picture. Because pretty much, you do the best stuff early, you'll get done fast. And this photo guy will say he loves to take pictures. And if he says no, he, he's still going to give you a picture and he'll pretty much beat you up if you, if you say no all the time. I'll call this, here stands a brave man. Say cheese. What's your name, young man? Link, well, here's your album, Link. Give it a look before you leave. Let's see if we can fill that album. And now, we're going in. Wait. You wanna do that? Uh, who's this facetious looking one? Alright, boys, let's get rid of him. Not so fast! Say hello to the spinning sword. No! This is the worst day of my life, says the moblins. And this guy said, you must be Essen, said my man, me meow meow, to rescue the mutt. You came here to get me, but this will I get you. Not so fast. Say hello to the flying sword of justice. Ow. Huh? Okay, you have to be close like here in order for him to attack him. Okay, we got like two more hits, and if I do if I do this spin, he's defeated. Said, said, told you a spinning thing would would just kill him in injustice for all. You say, Bow Wow, what a fearsome beast! Now we're on our way to the next dungeon. But before that happens, I'm gonna be have to I'm gonna have to close here. So see you in the next episode, folks.